So there is this girl who is outside her house and she can see her cat through the window. So she decides to pull out her phone and take a picture of her cat. Let me show you the picture. So this is the picture that she took. Obviously this is the window and can you tell what is in there? Okay, so apparently her cat is right here, but when she saw the picture, she saw a woman right there. She doesn't just see a woman, but she also sees a man over here. She claims that the man looks evil and that the lady looks scared, but that's not what I see. This is just my opinion. Again, the man and the woman. And why does she look like she's smiling to me? Like, she doesn't look scared to me. She looks like she's like her mouth is wide open or like smiling or something. Mind you, she says that there was no one in her house except her cat. She also admits that nothing had ever happened in her house, nothing paranormal. She had never experienced anything until she took this picture. She says that nothing had moved in her house. There was nothing that would have happened before then. And she almost felt like after she took the picture, these ghosts or whatever they are almost said, well, now you saw us, so now we have to mess with you. She said that after taking that picture, she had a dog who also lived in the house. And before this, nothing weird had happened, like I said, but there was plenty of times after this picture that the dog would start barking at random corners of her house, almost like it was protecting her of something and it was starting to scare her. So she says that there was one night where she was asleep with her husband and her son on the same bed and they got woken up because they heard that dog like scream bark crying like almost when somebody hits an animal and it makes that yelp sound well that dog ran into their room screaming like that and it freaked them all out so they turned the light on they looked at the dog and it was like scared in a corner like somebody had done something to them and her first thought was what time is it she looks at the clock and it's 3 a.m she admits that when she saw the time she got frightened because she had already heard like so many spooky stories around that time that of things that happen around that time and they're never good she admits that she was too scared to to go out into the hallway and like check what happened because she imagines that the dog might have been attacked by whatever was in her home uh, she says that after that she couldn't sleep but she was talking to her husband and that she believes that you know god is protecting them they started to pray and she says that nothing has happened since because of their prayers but that that night terrified her she hasn't been able to be comfortable and she just felt bad because her poor dog was probably attacked by something i'm sorry there is no way that i can sleep with my bedroom door open but i also don't have pets so i'm sure like most of you guys might sleep with the door open just so your pets can come in and out not sure but like i don't know i feel like i can never fall asleep with the, the bedroom door open as a matter of fact i have to lock it in order for me to fall asleep what do you guys think <laughs>